What is going on, my friends? It's your girl, Nikki Pebbles. I hope that you are feeling so powerful today. And we are getting into my favorite strength training. Yes, this is actually part of my four week strength program, Intro to Strength Training, in my membership site, Rock Your Body Online. So this is actually um, week two, day six of the training, but I wanted to bring it to all of you to experience it as well. Strength training completely, completely changed my life, my body, the way I felt. It makes me feel powerful and I just I really love it. <laughs> Before I forget, if you are not subscribed to this channel, I mean, I'm judging you. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram and my TikTok. It's fun over there too. A lot of people think that strength training is going to turn you into this. Yes, that's me. Right. <laughs> Long story short, it's not going to make you bulky. So here's how this workout is going to go down today. It is a full body 15 minute workout. So we have three different brackets. So three different uh, brackets that we're going to be doing. The first bracket is going to have four moves in it. Second is going to have four moves. And the last one is going to have four moves as well. We're working booty, we're working upper body, and then we're going to work abs. Get those weights. If you're looking at uh, what size you should be using, I would grab light to medium. If you don't have that, then go grab some laundry detergent. Go grab water bottles, wine bottles, cans. Whatever you have is completely fine. If you need to modify, it's okay. You're still powerful and wonderful and awesome. Okay team, Nikki from the future. So really quick, you're gonna see in the modified versions that sometimes I am using either a towel, one light weight, or no weights at all. Now I know this is a strength, intro to the strength workout. What I wanna let you know is that if you are brand spanking new to weights, sometimes it can be better to practice the move without the weight at first, understand how the movement works, and then get to the weight. So that is why I included the towel version and also no weight. So I just wanted to give you a little FYI. All right, team, let's get started, and I will see you on the other side. So we're gonna start off with a squat to press. Coming down, squeezing that butt and up. Now this is not a race. Take your time with this. Coming down, watching those knees, making sure they're not coming in. Beautiful. Take your time. Squeeze that butt. That is, I, I say it all the time, and that is honestly like the key to making sure that that core is tight, bracing the back. Full body today, baby. Let's go. You got this, come on. You got this, come on. Now you're taking that weight, putting it right on your hips and coming up and down. Good. This is an awesome move if squats just aren't an option. If you have bad knees, this is a really great glute exercise. 
as you can see on the modified version, I'm not using a weight. So the weight just makes it a little bit more difficult. You can also hold the weight up if you want. Um, that's working out a little bit more pressure up on that upper body. Um, I prefer to put it right here on my hips, but just giving you those options, you know? <laughs> Breathe. So this is a great just a nice little add-in of cardio that we're going to be doing. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more intense, you could speed it up, bending those knees, almost like a shuffle, or you could step it out. Whatever way feels comfortable for you. Again, this move is just to get the heart rate up, Engaging that lower body, using that weight to make it a little bit more advanced. Again, to just show you, it would be a simple side shuffle to make that a little bit harder. We're right there in five seconds. Woo, baby, come on. Yes, you can. Ha! Side lunge together with a curl. Beautiful, and then we go the other way. Side lunge together into that curl. Good. We love a compound movement! Yes! <laughs> I'm such a nerd, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like who gets that excited over fitness? I mean, I just, I just think it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go and angle a little bit more just so I have more room into my lunge. I don't want to fall out of focus on the camera. So I can't lunge as far as I want. So we're just gonna go on an angle. <laughs> there we go. We're now on our second round and now we're focusing on upper body. So these around the world are super fun. So you're giving me two to the side, two to the front, and then two to the side. Now what I don't want to see is a jerky movement of your body moving with the weight. Squeezing that butt with that turn, you're not jerking your, your entire body around. Good. I want you to remember how powerful you are. You got this. Come on. that people make in this movement 
is they move with the weight or they kick with their arms like this, right? It doesn't matter if you have a one pound weight in your hand. You are not kicking those legs out. I want you to pretend like someone has their finger right on your tricep muscle. And as you're coming out, you feel, it's almost like their finger like bounces back. That's what you want. Out, coming in, controlled. I'd rather you go slow than whip it because that's where you start to get into that injury and that's where you start to just like bring it back. We don't want that. Nice and controlled. Take your time, elbows stay in, they're not coming out. This move right here <laughs> makes me laugh because it seems really simple at first. You're like, oh, right, okay. <sighs> but let me tell you something. It will trick you. So the whole point of this is squeezing your butt. This is really working out your entire body. You're feeling that core, controlling that upper body. It's burning out those shoulders, but at the same point, you're really contracting that butt to make sure that back isn't bending coming forward, right? Knees are slightly bent. Ooh. Ooh. And we start to feel the burn. Let's go, 10 seconds, we're right there. So when you're coming up, can I say so a little bit more, my goodness. When you're coming up, you're not bringing those arms all the way up, right? You're not going past that shoulder. Again, making sure that butt is squeezed so it controls that movement. You're not bringing those hips forward. You're not using your hips and your body to get those weights up. See how I transferred to a lower weight for this. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Knowing your body, avoiding injury, that's powerful. Don't let anyone tell you different. And remember, it's not a swinging motion. We're not going fast. It's nice and controlled. Whew. Whew. And welcome to our last section, and that's abs. So, this is really working all three of what we just did. Small squat, turning, working those obliques, and then also working out those shoulders. So you're giving me a small squat into that twist. Beautiful. Rotating. Smoothly. Again, it's not a race. Watching those elbows, making sure they're not coming all the way down, right? We're keeping them here. I love this move. This is like the ultimate, like, full body move. <laughs> 10 seconds.
Okay, so we're coming up, pulling down. Up, pulling down. Beautiful. Driving that knee up and coming up. Good. Keeping those elbows in, right? We're not coming out, we're not flying. We switch in four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Now, if you wanna speed this up, you can. I'd rather you go slow. Making sure that chest stays up, we're not coming down into that crunch, right? We're not coming down. Good. Four. Wood chopper. So we're coming down, pivoting up. Pivoting up, good. Amazing. Taking your time, using that foot. See my foot pivot to the side? And up, good. We switch in three, two, one. Switch that. Let's go. So we're coming down, up, up, good, up. Like we're sprinkling greatness and confetti everywhere. Whoo! <laughs> Making sure that we're not jerking that arm all the way up. Okay, last move right here. Now if you need to hold on to something for this, that is totally fine. Breathe. I feel like this one is like you really have to concentrate. <laughs> we switch in three, two, and one, switch it out. Let's go. Good. Touching that elbow to that knee. Try to point that toe the best you can. If you can't, that's okay. Again, if you have to hold on to something, it's all good. I mean, how great was that workout, my friends? <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you had fun. You know, just swinging those weights around. Nothing feels better. <laughs> if you're not a part of the Rock Your Body online community, what are you waiting for? Go check it out. Come on. We're all waiting for you. Thank you guys so much again for working out with me. It was a great sweat. I had a great time and I hope to see you soon. Stay powerful, my friends.